This is the log for A wall round two. It may not look long enough, but actually it will be cut in two. I've got a doorway that will separate the two pieces. And on the top here, I have, this is actually two flat spots and right in this area is where I'll cut this log in two and I'll be able to put my blocking here and here to support the logs at the opening all the way up to the header log. This piece here is two AL, a wall left, and this piece here, this log here, is two AR, round two, a wall on the right. I'm always using the inside as my control on the shoulders and the log faces. This log actually will be two separate pieces. You can see the lines there where I'll cut this. This log happened to be straight enough that the center line was just perfect on either side, uh, either end of the, the logs where it'll be cut. The electrical is drilled here. The notches are cut, cleaned, and ready to go. I'm ready to lift round two D wall log up here on the building. I've got it strapped up to the hoist. This is something that I built and it's worked really well. The, the boom itself is uh, two treated two by eights with half inch treated plywood sandwiched in between. And it's glued and screwed together. And the legs, as you can see on both sides, are two by sixes and they're anchored down at the bottom with a bolt and a piece of angle iron on the corners and the back of the boom is anchored with a half inch bolt that goes through here and these bolts here go all the way through the back end of the base here all of this underneath the plywood is solid blocking so I have this back corner is really secured together well and there's two long lag bolts that go down through at an angle into the the back corner and then there's another bolt here that goes all the way through that holds the back corner together and I've got enough counterbalance up, mounted up here I just put some boards across here and just had some bricks and blocks and just whatever I had to put enough weight on the back of this for counterbalance I'm using a, this is a, a 3,200 pound winch. It's a two speed. And I have 50 feet of 10,000 pound tensile 
strength aircraft cable that I'm using for the, the actual cable. All right, there's swivel wheels on the base. I can just move it around and they will turn even with the load on it. And I think these wheels are about, the best I remember they'll hold up, each one will hold up 750 pounds. And I have a hook there that's hooked into a carabiner into the lifting straps. Uh, I recommend using straps on your logs. I do not like to see chains, log chains, wrapped around the log. Uh, it just makes little marks in it. And uh, if you go to the trouble to make a real pretty log and do all the work to it, you really don't want to be boogering it up with a log chain. So I use lifting straps a whole lot. And you can see I have a stretcher piece in there that keeps the straps in the right place on the log. When you start lifting this up, you don't want them sliding together because that can cause your log to get somewhat out of balance and could cause you some trouble. So it's, just take a few minutes to make your little stretcher board. It's just got a, a V cut in either end of it and just mount it in there or against the strap. And that'll keep those straps from sliding together when I start really putting uh, some weight on the, on the hoist. There's a, a rope here and one on the e other end. When I get this above the wall, I can tie it off to the hoist and that'll keep it from swinging around. If, if you have two people, one can kind of keep the log from swinging, but if it's just one person like I am today, um, I really don't want that log swinging around on me, so I'll tie it off once I get it up here. And that way I can move the hoist around without uh, having to worry about that log moving around in the air on me. Okay, I've got the straps unhooked from the log and the hoist, and I haven't done anything to this to f actually do what I call the fitting, but I can still see my pencil mark all the way up through here. That little dark that you see, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up in the, in the, with the camera, but this, the whole bottom area of this is sitting down completely on the upper part of the notch. And that's, that's one of the things that you can have if you're precise with your layout and your cut. I won't have to do very much to this log now that I've got it on the wall. And once it ever leaves my sawhorses, it doesn't ever come back unless I've made a terrible mistake. And this will actually just get tighter. And about all I'll have to do is to make handsaw passes on these shoulders here and here to bring this log into the control. And when I get the round three L log, which will be the, the left, which will come up to the doorway, I will take care of these together. I like to work the upper and the lower together. Let's go down here and look at the other end. My chink and gap is sweet. It's not too wide. Now there will be places it's gonna be wider than others. That's just part of it. I've got just a tiny bit of a gap right here, but everywhere else is sitting really tight. 
but I can take care of that and make this whole face set completely down on that. Actually, I could leave that and just let the weight of the next log rest on top of this, and that will cause that to tighten up. But I'll go ahead and I'll do a little something to this. I can make a handsaw pass underneath this and tighten that up and it'll be really sweet. I have shoulder passes that I'll have to make here also. As of just sitting this log down on here, I've got a pretty tight fit right here. And what I'm seeing here is just a pencil line. I'm going to take a chisel and just shave this off here so you can see what I'm talking about. All I did was just try to remove that pencil line from the layout. Now that's all I've done to this log. I just brought it up here from where I worked it and set it on the wall. I haven't done anything other than what you watched me do there. And there won't be any water to be able to get underneath this notch with the slope, the one and three slope here of this angle. The water will shed off of that. 